uh, there's so much stuff on the public record, and if people are inter interested, they can go to gada.org. It's all there. It's plain as day. Uh, Paul Volcker in his memoirs said one of the biggest mistakes he made was what he didn't manipulate the gold enough and suppress it enough. And uh, the people since him uh, have taken over that the role, and which started really big league with Robert Rubin when he was Treasury uh, Secretary of the Treasury. Can you can you maybe just summarize then kind of what the most glaring uh, evidence of it is, or or how this uh, works now in the way that you see it? Absolutely, and the most obvious things for. Uh, the people that watch your show is how the market trades on a day-to-day -day basis. It's mm -hmm. always counterintuitive. Black is white, white is black. Just when gold should go up the most, it gets hit. Uh, it gets hit around certain events like an option expiry, like J.P. Morgan did to silver just the other day. Now it's over, and watch silver move right back up again. They attack at certain times of the day. The most obvious is about 3 a.m. New York time when the London gold cart traders go to work. We call that Plan A. I don't know, it must have happened three out of five times a week for the past six weeks. Cash is dead. We want to get away from it. We want to get into something with real value. So every time there's a pullback like this, you can be guaranteed that I'm getting more of this stuff. And of course, we know QE3 has put monetary easing in the realm of unlimited. You know, when I tracked this credit bubble, it started in the mid-80s. Uh, it expanded uh, very aggressively through that whole period of time. If we just charted the credit bubble as having started in 1998, which is giving it a very late start, I think we have, we doubled uh, total credit market debt. So that's an extra $26 trillion that came in. If it's a normal bubble, if this was a credit bubble, we have to burst it. We have to find a way to undo probably 20 trillion dollars worth of bad debt. Here, long lasting costs associated with unemployment rates at the level we're seeing and with the duration of unemployment we're seeing and it really is the biggest challenge the most difficult problem that we face right now. longest the deepest economic downturn that anyone's seen since the end of world war ii there's an eerie parallel between today's economic situation social unrest geopolitics with those of the great depression When I say look at the parallels, the crash of 29, the Great Depression, currency wars, trade wars, world war, the panic of 08, the Great Recession slash depression. There's a depression going on in Greece, in Portugal, in Spain, in Ireland, in Romania, in Bulgaria, in Hungary. There's depressions going on. We're in a severe recession here. This, this recovery, you know, it's a, it's a paper recovery. How does this all happen and why so? You know, has it gotten so out of hand? And you mentioned it earlier when you talked about repeal of Glass-Steagall. That in '97, that was a huge step in the in the wrong direction. But then in 2000, at the very last few moments of Clinton's administration, you had the introduction of the Commodity Futures Modernization Act, and this allowed banks and and fund managers to go from that let's say 10 to 1 ratio that you were talking about earlier to 30, 40, 50, 60 to 1 ratio. And so they were able to borrow. In the case of Greece, for example, it's a $300 billion economy, but the debts that are being made against Greece equate to 3 to $4 trillion in derivatives and credit default swaps. And there's no end to the negative bets that can be created because you just create them at the flick of a switch from nothing. They are, they're, they're just produced electronically. So no matter what the Greek people do to say that they're going to pay off whatever debts that they never incurred to begin with, the Wall Street will just create 10 times more of that in a negative bet and saying, oh, well, it doesn't really matter because, in fact, you owe us 10 times more. And then Moody's and S&P and Fitch, the so-called neutral credit rating agencies, who are also in on this basically cartel, this mafia, they are constantly downgrading the bonds of Greece. And, of course, this is making it impossible for them to get out from under this mafia control. Federal Reserve policy will continue at an expanding rate with massive credit ex expansion, which will make the dollar crisis worse. Gold will be seen as an alternative to paper money as it returns to its historic role as money.